All right, uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to follow up the uh, the video that I just did on uh, kind of understanding when to use symbols uh, with a video about the difference between movie clip and graphic type symbols. And if you're just joining in here with us, let's make a circle and we'll tur turn it into a symbol real quick. I'm going to hit F8, or I could just uh, uh, take the slow route, go over here to convert to symbol, and you get you get this option: movie clip or graphic clip. And uh, as I pointed out in the last video, you can also change where the default pivot point is at this point. And that's about the only two options I ever mess around with uh, in terms of when I create a symbol or convert to a symbol. And uh, let's, um, so here we go. I've made this one into a movie clip. I can go and I can change it to a graphic clip at any time. But if you're just starting off, uh, what does that mean? We don't know. All right, let's figure this out. Okay, so get rid of that. You know how to make a, a symbol now. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, character that is made up of, uh, multiple symbols and you can see I wasn't even consistent about um, what type they all are you can, and when it when it's uh, dashed out like that uh, that means I must have a mix of them and you know, I actually could go over here and change them all to uh, graphic if I wanted I suppose I could uh, or well, I didn't want to do that it doesn't matter but um, all right so here we go let's do this let's take everything in here and I'm gonna hit f8 on it okay so let's call this entire character all right so i've converted the entire thing to uh just one uh, movie clip at this point i'm going to double click inside of here and i'm just going to put in here one extra frame so i'm just going to hit f6 on this timeline okay and uh, that means that what i could do is move let's say this eye over here okay that's not perfect let's go and there we go maybe rotate it a little bit yeah, there we go. So now there's nothing sticking off like that. Okay, so you can see that if, uh, and I'm just using the greater than and less than keys on the keyboard to, to go back and forth like that. So I'm jumping from one frame to the next, right? And uh, and obviously there's a, there's a difference. You can see that. Uh, if I go over here uh, back to scene one now, uh, which just means I'm outside of uh, the the interior uh, layering uh, of the of the entire movie clip. Okay, this is now back to one unit. I uh, and I move around, do the same thing I was doing before with the keys. Okay, so I'm going from frame one to frame two. You're not seeing that animation inside of there. Okay, but double click again. You can see I go inside of here and I am seeing that. Okay, uh, that is um, kind of one <laughs> major difference between a movie clip and a graphic clip. So if I were to go now and I switch this back to being a graphic clip, you'll notice. Okay, I'm still on the I'm I'm on the main timeline and I'm seeing those changes. Now, if I were to go and put more frames out here, so I'm going to hit uh, F5, all right, and insert in. Whoa, look at that guy! I'm in, inserting in more frames. You can see it's just looping uh, what was inside of that movie clip. Uh, if I were to go in and add more frames inside of the, I'm sorry, inside the graphic clip. If I were to go and add more frames inside of this timeline, okay, let's just put a bunch out here, right? Uh, you're going to see the same thing you did before between frame one and two, but then it's reflecting the fact that I put in more frames inside of here. So uh, basically what's at frame 10, okay, inside of the graphic clip is reflected on the main time over here for frame 10 as well, right? So if I were to go and at frame 10, you know, take off his hairdo, you're going to see that, oh, actually... Well, you will eventually. There it goes. It's out of there. Uh, and you might be wondering, well, wait, well, how come? Oh, yeah, this is a frame 10. Okay, I don't know why I just didn't do it the first time around. But you can actually offset um, the uh, the timing of, of the graphic clip. So you'll notice that when I've got this selected, uh, if I actually want the first frame over here, okay, on frame one, to be the fifth frame inside of, let's see, actually make it the 10th frame inside of the graphic clip, I can do that as well. Okay, so... And, and what will happen is, you know, you play this long enough up here, it's going to loop back, okay, to where it initially was. And, and one of the reasons it's doing that is because the option over here is loop, uh, not play once. If it was just set to play once, uh, you can see that it, um, you know, started at 10 and it just didn't ever uh, loop back again. So um, in terms of uh, exporting out the animation, uh, this is important because... If you uh, were to go over here to uh, export uh, movie, okay. All right, I've already exported something out recently. Let's see. 
it's uh, you've got this option of P and G sequence, and uh, the um, and so using those graph clips is actually going to be ideal for um, exporting out a PNG sequence because it really just pays attention to what's going on uh, visually in the timeline over here. Okay, so if if I if I uh, tried to export out this as a movie clip and I wanted to see those frames inside of here, uh, I'm going to have trouble doing that with a PNG sequence. And there are ways around it. You can go over here to like export um, video, uh, and that should respect the movie clips inside of there. They, they kind of made that change a few, few years back that that was an option. But um, you, you might be wondering, well, so why did they ever do this to begin with? And um, <laughs> this is, uh, okay, well, let's talk about it. So you'll notice that there is actually this other option over here, a button, okay? Uh, I don't think anybody in their right mind uses this anymore, but basically you've got, um, if you wanted to make a Flash website or you know one that relies on the Flash player, you could make a button and then your upstate could be a movie clip, all right? And that movie clip, uh, would play through all of the time, all, all the frames in its interior timeline, uh, even if this was just one single frame right here. Okay, and same thing for your up, over, and down state. Your hit state's a little bit different. That's basically your your area you're touching on. But um, so anyway, that's why they that that's one of the reasons why they why they did that, right? So um, you know you could have an entire movie playing on just your up state. Uh, and then you roll over it and a different movie on your overstate. And, uh, you know, it was actually kind of cool. It's and some, some, sometimes I'm like, gosh, they, it's a bummer. The flash player isn't still around, but, uh, Hey, you know, what can we do about it? So anyway, uh, these days I would never go and uh, mess around with creating a button. You just don't need to, because you're just not making a flash place, <laughs> flash based website anymore. But, um, yeah. All right. So that's, uh, that's a little history into movie clips and, uh, graphic clips. And many of you might be thinking, oh, well, hey, man, you just like made the, the case for me always using uh, graphic clips over here. I don't if I'm not doing web development stuff with the program, why would I ever use a movie clip? Well, all right, here we go. Um, <laughs> so filters in here in 20, almost 2018, they still only work on um on movie clips, so you'll notice that if I take this entire thing and I make it back down to being a graphic clip, I don't have the the, the filter option over here. Okay, so uh, and filters are kind of nice. Watch, I can put add a drop shadow on this on this entire thing. Okay, so you know I take that down, make it a little bit more subtle. I can move the angle around, do all sorts of stuff like that. And oh, here's a fun one. Watch this. I could do. Actually, I could do an interior shadow. And for cartooning, this is uh, really cool. Uh, usually what I'll do is I'll take the, 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 I'll bump up the distance. I'll take the blurring down. So it's just this kind of, uh, just, you know, straight line blur. And then I'll take the strength down. And, you know, with the angle in the right place, you've kind of got this like, you know, nice little 2D renderer going on. So bump the angle out a little bit, All right? So again, it's a it's kind of got to find that perfect angle on it, but uh, yeah. So you you know instead of me having to go in here and uh, color the the head with two different tones, uh, I've actually taken care of that with a um, with the movie clip. Uh, but you know that um, it doesn't mean that uh, you know you can't it makes it harder for me to export export this out. I mean, actually, I guess in some sense it does if I wanted to apply that uh, in, in the exact way I just did here. But, you know, one, one thing you could do is you could just go and copy, you know, I'm going to copy the filter. I'm going to remove it then. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll just apply this to um, the, uh, the movie clip that's in here. And, or I should say, whatever this is, it, yeah, it's a, it's a graphic at that point. Okay, well, all right, now how would I deal with that? Let's suppose I've already keyframed a bunch of stuff in here, right? But I want to add that filter to this. Just double click inside of this. Go ahead and make the this artwork inside of here a symbol. Okay, apply it, paste filters. And remember our rule with these guys, what I do to the kind of the master symbol is going to show up on all these other frames. So you can see... Now, every one of them reflects the fact that I put in a symbol inside of that, and it's got that uh, drop shadow on it. And you can see I can make a change to, um, you know, 
that filter now and that's going to get reflected across all these other frames inside of here so again that's how you kind of uh, really work these um, these symbols uh, to your advantage and now I feel like I've kind of talked as much as I should talk about the difference between movie clips and graphic clips so there you go if you uh, if you haven't visited the cartoonsmart.com website recently hey look there's the URL for it uh, and uh, be sure to download the Cartoon Smart TV app for both iOS and the Apple TV.